Hi everyone, this is Vignesh. Welcome back to the tutorial series on compiler design. And on the previous video, I was uh, talking about the fundamentals of Lex. Uh, I gave an introduction to what is Lex, and uh, I gave uh, I, I talked about the parts of uh, the components of a Lex file, and then we ran through a small example of identifying a program, a token called program, and throwing an error if anything else is given as an input. Uh, and also we uh, we discussed about how to compile a Lex and run it as an exe file. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about regular expressions. So what is a regular expression basically? So uh, I'll start off with a quick example of why we actually need a regular expression to be honest. So if we want to identify a digit from which comes between 0 and 9, so in according to the previous method what we have, we would have done is we would have set the lex to identify uh, 0 1 2 and so on if any such things are identified then uh, tell me that it's uh, through I means print as digits or if it's an alphabet if anything comes as a b c and so on print out as digits. So this is how we would have defined on Lex according to the previous example. But what if I say there is an easier, there is a more easy method to solve this actually, though that is called regular expression. So regular expression is a lifesaver for developers actually. Uh, what it does is it's going to define uh, expression, a sequence or something, a pattern to identify from a given input. And if such pattern matches, and it's going to do the relevant action for as we define it may be print or whatever so here these regular expressions can be anything so in this example let me talk about how regular uh, we could we could we could even choose a range as regular expression so for example if i want to identify digits from 0 to 9 i'm going to say okay the regular expression starts from a square bracket and finishes with a square bracket and inside that i'm going to define the expression as 0 to 9 so this is how I define the range so in ASCII 0 comes first and 9 comes after that so in between whatever comes it takes it it identifies as this pattern so if this uh, if this if the given token comes in between this range then we are going to say print it as digit something like this we are going to say for alphabets as well so if anything comes between a and z print it as letter it's so simple right so these are the two rules so let us compare this and see so i'm going to first go compare lex file okay let me save the file first okay all right again lex and then Finally, the exit file. Okay. Um, let me run. Okay, so if I type uh, 0, it identifies this digits. And if I type a letter A, then it might be S, V, 7, so on. You get it, right? So this is what happens. So what if I type uh, A, B, C? So C, if I type A, B, and C, it, it, it identifies each as different tokens and types three different outputs so we can actually solve this problem later on so if what if we want to identify as a word so we can solve it i'll, I'll explain uh, shortly so let's terminate this program and come back here so this is how we identify uh, a token whether it matches a given regular expression or not so there is a different way of uh, ident i mean identifying or means like defining uh, regular expressions so here as i said we use this section for definitions so here i'm going to define a regular expression called uh, letter and the expression that's going to come is a to z and digit it's going to be zero to nine Okay, uh, and also 
consider I'm gonna add caps as well so if anything comes between A to capital Z also consider to be as a letter so down here how we are going to define is within curly braces we are going to say digit and again here we are going to say as letter okay and also the reason for defining this like uh, in the definition is to make things more easier we can reuse these regular expression in multiple times say if i want to identify a word if i want to identify a word i'm going to type simply letter followed by asterisk so asterisk means one or more if i if i identify sorry it's not one or more it's zero or more if i identify zero or more letters and uh, for one or more we can type it as plus symbol so i let me let me take asterisk for now if i find anything repetitive letters tell me that it is a word so this is how we are going to solve that repeated outputs uh, for each and every token so we can solve it we can identify multiple letters as a single word so let's compile this and see flex oops uh, wait gcc and then again and run example.exe let me type bc see it's, uh, it's it's considering that as a word and if i type a it's taking it as a letter so this is how we define regular expression so i hope you understood the basic concept and how so let me do a quick recap so here what we did was we uh, i talked about what is a regular expression and how why we use it and how we uh, do it with lex and then how we reuse regular expression by uh, bringing it into uh, the definition section and then how we identify one or more tokens so how do you differentiate a letter and a word here and so on there are the regular expression it's not limited so you can type as many regular expression as you can you can do for numbers factors decimals um, words with specific uh, patterns emails or whatever so you can do some readings and you can customize according to your requirement and use it so that's it for this video and uh, on, the, on my next video i'm going to talk about how uh, we use lex along with yak so i'm going to give some introduction about yak and then how we use lex along with yak and to make a compiler so see you then thank you very much for watching this video peace out